Okay, now let's go ahead and visualize the LiDAR data that you've brought in from the national map. If you go to the Appearance tab, Symbology, you've got some choices there. Let's go ahead and select Elevation. And we'll just take the default for starters. Nine class, natural breaks, Jenks, University of Kansas, rock chalk. So that's what that area looks like. Okay, ranging from blue, low elevation to reddish, high elevation. And now I'm going to go ahead and create a slope, visualize it as a slope map. And so I can click around here and get the elevation and the slope and the aspect, the direction that the slope faces in degrees. All right, so far so good. Easy to bring in, in this data into Pro for sure. Now let's go ahead and create an aspect map, the bluish meaning that it's facing southwest and the reddish facing toward the northeast with, with that sharp ridge in there, as you see. And that's with a default tent class aspect map inside ArcGIS Pro. Let's go ahead and create some contours. Visualize this in contours now. Now I can click around and see the elevation, slope, and aspect once again. And I'm taking the default at the moment, drawing the contours with a contour interval of 5. It's important to note the elevation units, of course, this being in meters. So know your data, examine your metadata to see what your units are. We have now made a symbolized elevation map. We've made a slope map, an aspect map, and a contour map. Thanks.